Francesco Giacalone. I'm uh, Chief Product Manager for uh, the Electric Vehicles in Europe. So I'm taking care of uh, our electric cars, but uh, thinking beyond the car, thinking about uh, what electricity, what electric mobility means in everyday life. Uh, at school, because uh, I was not allowed to circulate. Thanks God I drive an electric car and therefore I can go. And then we have the engagements. Countries like Norway, uh, Netherlands, they already committed 2025, no more sales of combustion engine vehicles. Some others like London, they're saying, you know what, I want to be more strict on that. 60% emission reduction by 2025. In the same way, we have put the best of our technology, our brains from a, a design engineer perspective, and we created a icon of intelligent mobility with a passenger car. We have done it upgrading our best selling electric van. So EMV200 embodies the same intelligent power and intelligent integration. This car is the number one electric, one, electric van in Europe for the last couple of years. Uh, so we have been listening and we pushed a bit more this excitement to move one step ahead. Our uh, EMV200 customers, the van driver, the business one, we listen as well and they have been telling me, telling Peter, telling Ian every single day I need more range. So. To give more the range, you don't give more power. Otherwise, you drain the battery very, very fast. So all our efforts from uh, engineering perspective and production perspective, keeping the product affordable for this business unit have been done on the battery. So we had to make a bit of a choice. So what do you do? You enhance the wall of technology and invest a lot and maybe the vehicle will not be as accessible as uh, those customers want. No we made the battery. So our resources, our money to upgrade the battery, keeping the car almost at the same price that were the 24 kilowatt hour version. So choices and listen to the customer. Eco-friendly approach is growing day after day. In Norway last year, one third of all cars sold was electric. So this is quite massive and Norway is always uh, five to ten years ahead of, uh, let's say, average European trends. So I do expect that something big will happen in Europe pretty soon. So the time is the right one. The car is the right one. With this car, you go farther than before with a bigger battery. You put in the car everything you need. It's a five seater segment car. So it's really comfortable and OK for everyday life of everyone. And it does it in a simply amazing way. I don't need to explain more because tomorrow you will drive the car and uh, I would love to record your face while you accelerate and enjoy the driving. Don't work on the way to charge those electric vehicles. The, the flight won't fly. Very simple. We have been working from day zero on uh, multiple charging solutions for uh, our electric vehicles. We have solution for uh, house, home with the seven kilowatts wall box, we have solution for business with 22 kilowatt wall box, and we have quick charger. Actually, in Europe, we have by far the biggest quick charge network with 4,600 net chargers on the roads to create really the possibility of drive as far as you want because you stop, you charge and you keep driving. We have been investing 50 million euros since eight years now to make this available to our customers and we will not stop. We are engaged, we will keep adding chargers day after day with the promise to have 1,000 more within 2019. So our customer will enjoy this free, long drive every single day. Free, long drive every single day. The Salon, which is a uh, product uh, manager for EV. Uh, we have Jens Sheffert, uh, chief vehicle engineer for electric vehicles. Peter uh, Bedrosian, our product planning guy. He knows the secret about it. <laughs> and we have uh, Brice Fabri, which is our uh, infrastructure and ecosystem expert. So uh, I think that the best way is that we 
mix all together, doing dinner, tomorrow doing test drive, and uh, please feel free to ask anything you want. Uh, give us the opportunity to say, sorry, I cannot answer that, it's confidential, but it will be fine, I promise. That, but uh, uh, there is a, a sort, uh, sound alert that will prevent you and uh, the vehicle deliver a very little uh, break that uh, normally will shake you or wake you up five more so five the first visual five a little break and then uh, the steering wheel with a little vibration if you still don't put your hands and apply your torque resistance on the steering wheel the system will start to disengage and go towards a slow stop up to a full stop 15 seconds five plus five plus uh,